What is the process to find standard deviation of a set of numbers by hand? I mean, without a computer. Well, the process is only going to be slightly different if you have a population, meaning that those numbers are all of the data, or if it's a sample, meaning that there are other numbers, but these are just the ones that were randomly selected for you to use. You'll have to know if it's a population or a sample before you start, because you're going to be subtracting the average and the average has a different symbol, depending on whether it's a population or a sample. Now, you came for the process. The process is find the average of the numbers you were given. If it's a population, it's mu as a symbol, but the average is always calculated the same way. You always add up all the numbers that you were given and then divide by how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Now you could add those by hand if you wanted to for quickness, 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 15 gives me 49. Divided by 7, apparently the average or mean of these is 7. Now, to find the standard deviation, I want you to take that mean and subtract it from all of those numbers. 2 minus 7, negative 5 negative 5. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. 8 minus 7. 9 minus 7. 10 minus 7. 15 minus 7. There's some new numbers for you. These are the deviations. Now we're going to take those numbers, that's the same numbers you just calculated, and square them all. Remember when you square a number, it becomes positive. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. Squaring, by the way, is when you multiply it by itself. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. Negative 4 is 16. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. And 8 squared is 64. The last step in this chart is I want you to add up all of those numbers. This is going to be the sum of all of the x minus mu squared. That's a pretty big symbol for what was so far a pretty easy process. Find the average, subtract it from everything, square the differences, and add them all up. That's 25 plus 25 plus 16 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 64. I got 144. So far, so good. Now, if it was all of the data, if you were told this is a population, you're going to calculate the standard deviation by taking the square root of that sum that you just calculated divided by n. Now, the sum that I calculated is 144, and I know it felt like a lot of work to get there, but it's so you can plug it into this formula. n is still the number of data points that you had. You used n here to divide, oh, you used n over here to find the actual mean, 144 divided by seven. Now, I really don't know if your teacher expects you to do this without a calculator, but I'm gonna use a calculator, divide it by seven, and then take the square root of that answer. I get 4.54. My population standard deviation for these numbers, if that is all of them, is 4.54. Great. If you were told that it's just a sample of the data, there's a slightly different formula. This x bar is the same as mu, but for a sample. And please note that the standard deviation here has a different symbol. Instead of it being sigma, it's just the letter s. Your teacher is probably going to be pedantic about that. But the formula is similar. You still put the 144 on top. The only other trick is that instead of it being n here, it's n minus 1. So 7 data points, you're going to divide by 6, one less than that. 144 divided by 6 is 24. And the square root of that is 4.90, if you round it to two decimal places. Cool. Well, there's your standard deviation if this was a sample, and there's your standard deviation if this was a population. Now, of course, if it's a sample, 
this is not necessarily the standard deviation of all the numbers in the population. It's just the sample standard deviation. It's an estimate of what the standard deviation of the population would be if this was a representative sample. But anyways, you're here for the calculation and we did it. Find the average or mean, subtract it from all the data points, square the differences, add those up, then divide by how many data points you had or one less than that, then take the square root. Done. We did it. You did it. I'm proud of you. Best of luck.